Hi YouTubers, this is your Ems and this is my solder paste, actually the first one which I bought a long time ago and today I'm going to show you what's wrong with this uh, solder paste and how it's possible to contaminate your printed circuit board with conductivity if you don't pay attention to. So let's get started. <laughs> A long time ago I wanted to fix a toy for my daughter and uh, I bought this soldier paste. I didn't know about soldiering anything that time. Of course I forgot to read this uh, warning on the cover and I completely ignored the fact that this solder paste is uh, conductive. And if you are interested like me how conductive uh, this solder paste can be for you I'm going to do today a little experiment in which I'm going to measure resistance after using this solder paste on my testing printed circuit board. Here it is. But before testing I have to measure resistance between two holes on the PCB and as you can see the resistance is out of limit of my multimeter which is 40 mega ohms. And now I'm going to solder this uh, header pin on the PCB and for soldering I'm going to use this solder paste to demonstrate uh, contamination. For better demonstration I'm going to use a little more solder paste. And let's solder it. <laughs> Please don't take it as an example of proper soldering. Okay, I made it. Before final measuring I'm going to clean it with this uh, printed circuits cleaner. Cotton buds are my best friends. <laughs> and a little more cleaner. And uh, after cleaning, it looks like this nice and shiny. So I'm ready to measure resistance again with my baby multimeter <laughs> and voila here it is yeah 150 kilo ohms when I saw this uh, for the first time it was quite surprising for me now of course I've got a proper solder flux for soldiering on PCBs it was just warning for you yeah not to do the same mistake like I made. And that's it. If you have any questions please ask me in comments. If you like my videos please subscribe. So thank you for watching and see you next time.